just kind of the difference for you? I know it had to be frustrating Thursday to come back and really get it going Saturday. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Thursday was really frustrating. But, uh, you know, Saturday just kind of tried to ease my way into the game, get my teammates involved, and uh, I feel like it kind of worked out a little better that way. You've been confident all year. You, did you lose any confidence in that start of Pac-12 that's come back, or how are you feeling? Um, no, I wouldn't say I lost any confidence. Uh, really disappointed in kind of how I've been playing from the from it really the start of the whole month of January. But uh, it's a new month, so hopefully I can turn it around, get it, get it going. Flip the calendar and exactly. see when the new one starts. You know it. So. Is anything you can put your finger on for what the difference was in, in the non-conference and the conference? For you? Um, to be honest, not exactly. I mean, uh, you know, play definitely picked up. I feel like you know, on our part and other teams' part, and you know, that's how it goes when conference comes around. You know, teams really know you a little better. They scout you a little better. They figure out how to take you away. So, um, you know, I just kind of got to counter that and um, do some do some things better. When you level the challenge that you're facing Thursday. Oh um, yeah, um, I mean, he's the best in the country. Um, it has been for for weeks now, and uh, um, you know, I think we're ready for the challenge. Um, if we can do what we've been trying to do as far as our rebound teams and take care of the ball and you know really play Oregon basketball, I think we'd be just fine. What do you took away from that Cal game after they went down? Say it again. I'm sorry. Is there anything you took away from their last uh, loss last week? Um, yeah, you know we kind of learned some of the deficiencies um, as far as being able to to guard the basketball. How uh, how much of an effect their big guys really have, and if we can get them in foul trouble, um, you know how we can kind of turn the game in our favor. What kind of void does Ashley leave without him in the lineup? Oh, man, um, I mean he's a really talented kid. You know he can score the ball, um, and defensively, he's you know again one of those rim protectors that they have. So um, I think taking that away, um, they're they're definitely pretty vulnerable. They got a lot of bigs, a lot of guys they even that they had been starting, and now some guys coming off the bench. You ready for a pretty physical test that night? Oh yeah, no, it's definitely going to be a physical game, um, but I, I think we're ready for the physicality. Um, it's really just going to be who can withstand, you know, who can play the hardest for 40 minutes. I think who can last. That's going to be the biggest thing. It'll be tough, you know, with their home crowd and all, but uh, I think we can do it. You feel like the press off against USC kind of sparked you guys in that game? Oh, definitely. Um, I, they looked at that and really didn't know what to do, it seemed like. You know, and, um, I feel like that'll really help us down the road this season, too. You guys plan on doing it maybe more? Um, yeah, I, th I think so. I mean, with the success that we had, I, th I feel like you know we'd be dumb not to. But uh, yeah, no, if we can kind of perfect that, I think that'll be a, a great tool for us to have. You see this as a game where you can get back some of those games you lost in terms of like the tournament size, if you can kind of get a win over a number two oh, ranked team? Oh, certainly, yeah, no. We, uh, you know, that's a, that's a great resume win. And you know, if we can get that, I think we all understand how important that is, mm -hmm. too, as far as the uh, NCAA tournament. So. Are you guys paying attention to your, your resume? Um, yeah, no, definitely. Um, I, I, we know we had some tough losses. I, I have, I'm not exactly sure where we are with the, with the RPI and all that stuff. But, I mean, we were just trying to win games, and it will go up eventually. So. You talking about flipping that calendar, is that part of this too, kind of getting into the final month and making a final push towards that? Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, we started out with five of our first seven games on the road, I want to say. So now we're on the, the latter end, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll have some home games here. and Hopefully we can take advantage of that. Dana was talking last week about guys like you who have been at other places maybe appreciate some things about Oregon that other guys who haven't been anywhere else might take for granted. He mentioned the chef that's cooking meals and stuff like that. What, what's something about Oregon that you really appreciate that maybe you didn't have other places? Um, so many things. I mean, you're the chef, uh, the way we travel, you know, being able to get on private planes, um, the crowd that we have here, it's ridiculous all the time. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things. Yeah. So the travel situation, is that a lot different? Were you oh, taking yeah. buses a lot oh, of other places? I mean, it was a lot of times we'd, uh, we, would, we wouldn't fly private, you know, so be cramped up on a Southwest <laughs> flight, and that's always tough, especially for your seven-footers. So. Yeah. yeah, going through TSA and all exactly. that stuff. Yeah. What about our Coach Altman? What do you uh, like about him? Um, his patience. I mean, he's really patient with all of us. Um, you know, just like a real, he's really a teacher come practice time. Um, just make sure everybody on the same page and – um, I feel like that's that's been a large part of why we started off so hot is because we were so patient with the new guys coming in and stuff like that. Maybe some people wouldn't look at their NCAA tournament resume because they think it might be a distraction, but with you guys, does it help with the urgency and say, look, we have to win? Um, it does. I mean, I feel like with the group we have, kind of being older, you know, we got a few seniors on the team who are mature enough to kind of understand 
um, the importance of each win and um, not a uh, kind of not downplay losses, but understand like kind of just got to keep them moving. And uh, I feel like that the maturity level of this team can handle that. So. You guys almost beat UCLA, and that would have been three straight you know, after the OC win. So you guys kind of feel like you are now on a hot streak a little bit. Um, no, I wouldn't say that. Um, I'd say right now we're just hungry to get the next win. And, you know, if we can, you know, win two games this weekend, maybe then we can call it a hot streak. But right now we're just trying to get the next one. Do you see a notable difference in your defense the last four games as, uh, as a team? I have. Um, you know, we kind of really turned up the communication, turned up the intensity. Um, and I think we're, uh, the longevity of our defense in games is, is getting a lot better. You know, we're really lasting um, down the stretch. Um, I know that was one thing we tried to focus on after that UCLA loss was, you know, kind of taking it up a couple notches as well. So, does more communication mean more talking on each position, or that one guy yeah. in the locker room is kind of taking control of the team? Um, a little bit of that as well, but really just talking on each possession. Um, I mean, when you have five guys, you know, down the stands talking, it really helps a lot. What's that keeps keeping Arizona off the offensive class? Um, boxing out. That simple? Yeah, it's simple. I mean, you know, it can be as big as you want to, but they have to go over your back, and we, you know, we can challenge refs, to make calls, and um, you know, we just got to do our best to box them out and keep them out of there. It's going to be emphasis for post players like you to kind of make an effort to drive to the basket more against someone like Arizona to get them the foul shot. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. We're definitely going to take it right at them. Um, nobody on this team is afraid of anybody. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take it right at them. Dana said during your 13-0 run, you and Elgin were kind of the most productive two players at a position. What do you feel like Elgin's struggles have been since that streak has, has been snapped? Um, to be honest, I don't know. You know, as a team, you know, we just try to keep encouraging them. And, uh, you know, sometimes... You know, I know from playing for so long now, you know, you fall into slumps. You kind of get away from what you've been doing well. And, uh, you know, it's kind of just kind of on us as teammates to just kind of encourage them to, to keep on plugging through it because, I mean, he'll get out of it. It just it happens. So, I mean, as long as he just keeps plugging away, he'll be fine. He's still viewed as an X factor? Definitely. That you guys labeled him as? Definitely. We know what he can do. I mean, we're probably uh, more confident uh, than him in his abilities. So, I mean. He'll be fine.